Mixins are part of the reason that class-based views are so good. What a mixin does is it allows us to extend a class-based view with some new code. Let's take a look. So what I'm gonna say is class, and we'll call this course object mixin, and it takes in just object as its default. Object is just a Python object. And then we're gonna go ahead and say that we'll give it model name or model class or just simply model and I'll give it to be none. And then we'll do a method called get object. And then we'll return something related to what we've seen before. And in fact, we will return this right here. So we've got our object here. And instead of course, we'll just do self.model. And of course the default itself is gonna be course. So we'll just leave in that, that default. So this is now going off of this, right? The next thing is, let's go ahead and just say URL lookup or, you know, lookup simply. And this is gonna be equal to ID. So now down here, I can just change this to being self.lookup, okay? So that's pretty much it. This will help me reduce redundancy inside of my code. So I can grab this object mix in and just bring it into my delete and quite literally get rid of that get object method now because it actually works in here. It's this right here is gonna call the mixins version. And you wanna make sure that you put the mix in first and then the class based viewer, the final class last. And then we can do the same thing for update. We can do the same thing for create or well, actually we don't need it in create, but um, we also don't need it in list. And then finally detail. Right, so the object down here, instead of being all of this, we would just do context object equals to self.get object. Because the rest of it is gonna handle as we expect, right? So it's gonna raise that error if it's not there, just like that. And it's gonna look up by that field. Unfortunately, the lookup is gonna have to be identical to what we've got here, right? So this, this makes things a little bit more challenging doing the lookup like that. So I'm gonna leave it back in as ID. But the, the, the general idea here is that we would, in theory, be able to change what the lookup would be. But in my case, I'm just gonna leave it in again as ID. But that's how this actually works. The mixins actually work just like this. So now that I've got all that, let's go ahead and take a look inside of courses. Let's go to the first one. Still working, update still working, delete, still working. So we've now reduced the amount of code that we have by creating our own mix-in. And of course, as you see, we can make it more complex. And once you make it more complex, then our class views are even that much more superpowered.